What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So as many of you know, every month or so, every couple months or so, I like to do a little video, kind of like a mishmash of everything that I've gotten over the past month, like clothing wise. So that is what we are doing in today's haul. It is just a random haul of everything that I have accumulated over the past month or so. So we have a bunch of different brands in this haul. We have some Amazon, Lovely Blush, LA Apparel, Naked Wardrobe, Adore Me, Nike, a little bit of everything. Um, so before we get started, as always, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links, discount codes, and measurements for reference. And that is about it, so let's hop into it. So the first thing I have on right now is this little brown dress. This is from LA Apparel, and I'm wearing this in a size small. So this is made from a nice, thick, ribbed material. Um, so I feel like you don't really need to wear a bra underneath it. Like it's thick enough that nothing's really showing through there. You probably could wear like a strapless one if you wanted to, but I don't really feel like you need it. And it is like tapered, but it goes out a little down here. So it's not like skin tight. It is pretty short. Um, if you're on the taller side or if you have a a booty it is pretty short um, but like just long enough that it works and I feel like because it's not tight um, I'm like comfortable wearing it because if it was tight it would probably ride up but since it's like a little bit looser and kind of like tapers out at the bottom um, it like stays in place and doesn't like ride up as you're walking um, but super cute I love this brown color but I've been really feeling browns lately and browns this year and last year have really been having a moment but yeah this dress also comes in a bunch of different colors and if you've never heard of LA apparel it's kind of like similar to American Apparel, I think. They have a lot of like good basics and it's made in LA and they pay their employees good wages. And I think a lot of their items are sustainable as well, so yeah. And then up next from LA Apparel, I got this brown um, romper and I'm wearing this in my regular size small. And I went ahead and tied a little um, flannel on top of it because that's just like how I would wear this romper. Um, I feel like some rompers I'm okay with just like wearing on their own, um, like tight rompers, but other tight rompers are just like a little, I don't know, just a little much on their own. And for whatever reason, this one was, I was just like, I feel like this one needs a flannel. So tied a flannel around it because that's how I would wear it. So, so this is made from a stretchy cotton fabric. Um, again, I feel like you don't need to wear a bra with it, but you can if you want to. Personally, I probably won't. Um, I feel fine without one, um, but you can if you want to. But yeah, this also comes in a bunch of different colors and I feel like it's just a great basic. And then the last thing I got from LA Apparel is this um, sweatsuit. I got the hoodie in a size large and the joggers in a size medium. So again, with the neutrals, I love this color. I think this is called Mushroom, um, but yeah, I love this kind of like washed, taupey color. Um, and then I got the hoodie in a size large because I wanted it to be oversized. And same with the joggers, I got them in a medium because I just, with like sweatsuits, I just don't like them to be too tight. I like the fit of the um, hoodie and then the joggers. So the, these are unisex pieces. Um, so they're like meant for men and women. Um, and the joggers aren't a high rise jogger, um, probably because they're unisex. Um, so I would prefer if they were a little higher rise, but since they're medium, they don't like sit too tightly on my um, waist. So I'm actually okay with them not being super high rise. Um, I feel like I'm just like so used to that feeling, um, but obviously like with these, I would wear them together. So I don't really care about them like coming up too high. And as long as they don't dig in, I'm okay with it. Um, and they have pockets and a little pocket on the booty and they have a um, drawstring on the inside. Um, but like for the joggers, 
I'm definitely comfortable in a medium, but I feel like I could have even sized up to a large. Um, so if you're in between sizes or you want like an oversized look, I definitely recommend sizing up one or even two sizes in these pieces. Okay, and then the next thing I got is another romper. Um, and this one is from Naked Wardrobe, but I got it at Nordstrom. And I'm wearing this in my regular size small. So I love this romper. Um, I am a big fan of jumpsuits and rompers and I've just been on a mission to find the best jumpsuits, rompers, and bodysuits for girls with longer torsos. Um, and this one definitely fits into that category. I, I love the length of the shorts, like kind of bike short length. And I love this cute little cutout right here. Um, so like the bike shorts are high rise. I mean, it kind of like looks from the front, like you're wearing just like bike shorts and a crop top, um, but obviously from the back it's attached. Um, and you don't have to wear a bra with this. It's definitely like supportive enough right here. Kind of like, I mean, it makes the girls look good in my opinion, um, but supportive enough and it's double um, line so pretty thick material um, and yeah I just feel like this is so cute this would be a cute look um, for summertime again you could wrap a flannel around your waist to kind of like make it a little more casual um, and just wear some like sneakers with it um, or you could dress it up and wear it with like heels I don't know super versatile super comfortable I love it. Okay, the next thing that I got is this little bralette, and I got this from Adore Me, and I got this, oh my gosh, I forgot to look. This is either in a size small or a size 32D. <laughs> So I just think this fits so nicely. It makes the girls look great. It has underwire and adjustable straps and it has a couple of like little like hook options back here. Obviously you can wear it with like jeans for like a casual look, um, but you can also with anything like lingerie kind of like intimates you can wear it with like black pants on a, a leather jacket or a blazer to kind of like dress it up a little bit but yeah i think adore me does such a great job with their intimates pretty much everything i get from them like fits so nicely um so 10 out of 10 would recommend if you're looking for lingerie or just like cute bralettes and stuff they have really cute stuff and they have really cute sets too like this actually came with a pair of um panties that I won't bother trying on for this um, but yeah I really do like adore me and, and then the next thing that I got is this bodysuit from lovely and blush and I'm wearing this in a size small So I know it might look a little funky to some people, but I really like um, these bodysuits that like go up on the sides, like high cut on the sides. I feel like it like mimics a crop top, but it's actually a bodysuit. And this one is definitely long enough for a longer torso girl. Um, and you probably could wear a bra underneath this. I'm currently not as you might be able to tell. Um, I don't know, I've just kind of been like free the nip lately. Like I just don't really care in a lot of things. Um, but yeah, you probably could wear like a um, strapless bra or do some sort of like a crisscross um, if you have like a convertible bra or even like a racerback sports bra or something underneath this. Um, but yeah, I think this is so cute. Okay, the next thing I have here is another bodysuit from Lovely and Blush. And I'm also wearing this one in a size small. So this one, as you can see, is high neck and then it has some little like seaming details on the front here. Um, it's made from a super, super stretchy material. Definitely long enough for a long torso girl. It actually has two little snap closure options, which I was like, wow, the innovation. Why don't all bodysuits have multiple snap closure options so they can work for people with different length torsos? But yeah, obviously, like I said, loving the neutrals and browns lately. So I really, really like this one. Okay, and then I have one last bodysuit to show you. This one is from Paragon Fitwear and I'm wearing this in a size small.
So this one is another high neck bodysuit. It's made from a kind of like soft but slick, um, stretchy material, but it is definitely compressive enough that again, I don't feel like you need to wear a bra with it. You obviously could if you wanted to, um, but since it's double lined and it's like compressive enough, I feel like it provides support and like coverage. <laughs> and this one also is long enough. Um, it has enough stretch to kind of like stretch to different torso sizes. Um, Paragon has really been killing it lately. I honestly feel like I need to make a whole like separate dedicated review for Paragon. Um, they've been doing a lot of like smaller drops. So I feel like dedicated videos for like a small drop, it's just like too much for one little drop, but I could just kind of re review a bunch of things that they've launched recently. Um, I usually do little um, Instagram story reviews for smaller drops like these, but um, yeah, they've done so many drops recently and I know they still have some different things in stock from each drop. Um, so I might do a dedicated Paragon review, um, but my discount code is Shannon. Um, in case you're wondering for Paragon. And I completely forgot to mention my discount code for Lovely and Blush for the past couple items you saw and a few more coming up here is Shannon. But that will all be in the description box down below anyway. The next thing I got is this little blue workout set from Amazon. I'm wearing the sports bra in a size small and the bike shorts in a size medium. So the sports bra has removable cup pads, it has pretty thick straps that just go straight up and down, and then it has a cute little keyhole like ring cut out in the back, um, and it does have a band at the bottom um, for support, and I'm usually not a huge fan of bands, but this one isn't too tight. And this is a pretty supportive sports bra, I would say it's like medium support. And then these bike shorts have no front seam. Um, and they have a little bit of a like booty contour, like double booty contour seam in the back, and, like a tiny bit of a like booty scrunch. I feel like it doesn't really show up when you actually like put them on, um, but they do technically have a little bit of a booty scrunch. Um, but the material of these are like kind of like a mixture of like soft and slick, but definitely like quite stretchy. I actually have reviewed the legging version of these um, shorts before because I have the legging version of these in like brown. And I like the leggings so much that I decided to get the bike shorts too. And I was like, well, I might as well get the matching bra. Um, I'm pretty positive these are Gymshark Whitney Simmons um, collab dupes. I'm not positive. I don't follow Gymshark super closely, so like I don't really know necessarily when something is a dupe for their items. Um, but I really, really like these Amazon activewear. They've been killing certain things lately, and this set is definitely a win. Um, I just love the no front seam, and I love the little booty contour. Um, and these ones have kind of like a shorter inseam for a bike short. I would say these are like maybe like a five inch inseam. Some bike shorts are more like six or seven. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. They are like a shorter bike short, but technically still bike short length. Um, if they were any shorter, I'd probably think they're more of a booty short. <laughs> the next thing I got is this set from Amazon and I'm wearing the top in a size extra small and the skirt in a size small. So the top is a one shoulder top with little cutouts on the side. And then the skirt also has little cutouts as well. Um, and it's kind of like midi length, um, very, very stretchy and comfortable material. The top actually ran a little bit big in my opinion. Um, so I exchanged it for a size uh, extra small, um, but the skirt does run true to size in my opinion, but I just think that this set is so cute. It came in a couple colors and I couldn't really decide what color to get, um, but you know me. I love my neutrals and I felt like I had so much black. I was like, don't get the black. Um, so I went with this kind of like, I think they called it cus custard, maybe something else, wheat, um, cream, tan. I'm not sure what they called this color. Um, curd. They called it curd. Um, curds and whey, I think is what it was called. Um, but yeah, I feel like it like kind of looks like it might be a dress, um, but it's a set and I really like it. And then the next thing I have here is another matching set. Um, this one is from Lovely and Blush and I'm wearing this in a size small.
This one is made from kind of like a crepey linen fabric. And as you can see, it's kind of like these um, wide leg flowy pants and this little like crop um, vest type thing. This vest you tie back here. But this is super cute. I feel like this would be cute to wear on like a vacation somewhere. I don't know why. Matching sets and this kind of like linen material and like a wide leg pant just gives me like beach vibes. I don't know why, but it always does. Um, but yeah, super cute. I love me a matching set. We know this. And then the next thing we have here is a jumpsuit from Lovely and Blush. And I'm wearing this in a size small. This jumpsuit is made from a super stretchy, like slinky material and it is lined um, in like the torso up to um, here, like the upper leg. Low cut and a little cut out back here and you tie it in the back. Um, super cute, I love this like lime green color. It's so vibrant and fun. Um, they actually launched a dress as well. Same color, same fabric, um, but the dress sold out super, super quickly. I try to only show you guys things in these videos that are like still in stock um, because I know it can be frustrating being like, here is what I have and then you can't even buy it if you want it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is super cute. And now for some shoes that I got. Um, I got these little sandals from Amazon and they were like 18 bucks, something like that. And I'm pretty sure these are like a Hermes slide dupe. Um, I honestly like wasn't looking for a dupe, um, but I was just like looking for a basic like black um, neutral sandal um, and these came up and I was like oh those kind of look like the Hermes um, sa um, sandals and they had really good reviews um, so I got these and the Hermes version is like a seven hundred dollars I'm pretty sure um, and these look like very very similar so that's nice <laughs> and then I got these little lace up um, square toe block heels. Um, I'm not gonna like try each of these on for you, but I'll insert a picture. I wore these on my birthday um, and they were very, very comfortable. I got these from Shein actually. Sometimes like if I'm looking for something very specific and I like plug it into Google, Shein like just like has so much um, varied stock that a lot of times like their stuff comes up um, and especially for like heels. A lot of times it's hard for me to want to invest money in heels because like half of the heels I wear hurt my feet and I'll end up wearing them once and I'm like, I never want to wear them again because they hurt so bad. Um, but these actually, I've been, I try to do block heels usually and not like too high of a heel. Um, and these did not hurt my feet which is great. And then lastly, I'm actually not sure if these were in my last video or not. I have a terrible memory. I can't remember. Um, but I got um, these Air Force Ones. These are um, custom Air Forces that you can make on the Nike website. You can customize like tons of different shoes on there. Um, but I feel like so many people have been getting the black and white dunks. Um, and they're like sold out everywhere. So you have to get them on like StockX or the GOAT app. And for me, I was like, I don't even know if I actually like like dunks on. I've never like tried them on, um, but I know that I love Air Force Ones um, and customizing these, I think it was like $120 and dunks were like 350 or something like that. So I was like, why not just customize a pair of Air Force Ones? like the same coloring. Um, and I already know I like the shoe and they're like half the price. So yeah, that's what I did, half the price. Maybe like a third of the price, I don't even know. Uh, but that's what I did and I love them. <laughs> so that is it for this little haul. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. More to come. And the next time I film a video, I might be in Dallas. Cause y'all, I'm moving to Dallas very, very soon. So. That'll be fun. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.